Hey guys, welcome to a new Java EE tutorial. Today I will show you another new feature of Java EE7. JSF 2.2 is now offering a new component called input file, which enables an easy way to upload files from your JSF page. There are already a lot of frameworks out there that help managing your uploads, but sometimes you can't or you just don't like to use such a heavy framework. JSF will take care of the upload process and all you need to do is handle the file, for example, save it on your local disk. Let's have a look at how this is working. We are using our default first app project. If you are using the Maven project we created in one of the earlier videos, make sure to upgrade your POM file by changing the version of your Java E API to the version 7. We will then go to our index.x.html and we will create an h form here. This form gets the content type with the attribute enc type, which is a multi part form data content. Inside here we will now add the new component which is called h input file. The value of this file, so where the file should be stored once it's uploaded, is the upload bean dot file. We will create this file just in a moment and we also need a command button with the value upload and the action will be upload bean dot upload. Now we will create our bean. We create a new class called upload bean. This will be a managed bean with a few scoped. We need one variable in here which is a part variable from the Java X servlet HTTP package. And this will be our file. Then we create the getters and setters as well as our public void upload method. So this method will be called once the upload button was pressed. So JSF takes the file, uploads it to the server and put it into the file variable. All we need to do now is to get the data from the file object. And we will do this by using a scanner. And this will be a new scanner from an input stream source and the file has the method get input stream which we pass to our scanner. We will throw the IO exception for now and you could also use any other stream reader to get access to the file data but the scanner makes it very easy because we can just say s dot use delimiter backslash a and call the next method which basically sets the delimiter and it reads until it finds the delimiter, which uh, gives us the whole file content. And we will save the file content into a special string. And then we will close the scanner. Now we will just print out the file content on our console to see that the file is actually received at the server side. We will publish this and test it. Here we have the file chooser. We say choose and we'll now take a simple text file upload it, check the console and we see hello world, which is actually the content of our simple txt file. So, th so this is basically all you need to do to receive a file on your backing bean. We will now also write this file to your local disk, which we use the files class from the Java NIO package and use the write method. Here we'll just say get the path from C and here we put file dot get submitted file name. So we will just take the file that was uploaded, get its file name and save it in our local C directory. The bytes will be the file content dot get bytes and the options will be the standard open options create. So the file will be created. We will publish this again and try it out. Simple txt upload and in our C directory now we got the simple txt with the hello world text. So it's exactly the file we uploaded by our website. Sometimes you want to prevent the user from uploading any kind of file. It's so you can define a validator, which will be simply a method in your upload bean. In this case, we will call it validate. So this method will be called from our file uploader and we need to create it here, public void validate, and we get some arguments passed by JSF, which is the faces context, the UI component that triggered the validation, as well as the object, which is basically the file that was uploaded. So we say part file will be our value. So we cast it to file. Now we can start with the validation. 
we will here say if the file dot get size so the file size is larger than let's say 11 byte which is really small but for the test uh, the simple text file is smaller than 11 bytes and another file will upload is larger than 11 bytes then we throw a new validator exception faces validator package and we will create a new faces message in there with a simple string saying file is too large and another validation we will do is we'll check the content type and take care that it's equal to the mime type text plane if it's not equal we will throw a new validator exception with the message file is not a text file so this will validate our file that was uploaded and we need now also set an h message field here to print out the exception this will be for our uploader and we will give our input field the id uploader so they are matching in the id we will publish this again and test it out i'm choosing now the simple file and upload it we see it's working i will now choose a larger file and we see file is too large i will now also take a no text file and it says file is not a text file so our validators are working. The last one I will show you is how to use Ajax with the H input file. You can simply use an F Ajax command here and say the listener will be the same as in our action. So the upload being dot upload. This means in the moment the user chooses a file, it will be directly uploaded and therefore validated. So we can delete the command button because it's no longer needed and we need also to add the render tag to our Ajax call because we want to render the form again to show possible error messages that were passed by our backing bean. We will publish this and I will show you how it's working now. First of all the upload button is gone. So I choose the file. In this case I will choose a larger file and it's instantly validated. File is too large so I didn't even need to press the upload button. It's directly cancelled. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions feel free to write a comment and I hope I see you soon.